Music blares through the swinging door of O'Halloran's pub as Mam and I enter. I am immediately drawn out onto the floor by Molly O'Halloran singing. Now there's some take delight in the carriages of rolling, and others take delight in the hurling and the bowling, but I take delight in the juice of the barley and courting pretty fair maids in the morning, bright and early. Musha ring, dumma do, dumma da. Whack fall the daddy o, whack fall the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. With a celebration in full swing, I join a wild dance with three of my classmates. I'm the only one who learned the Cayley as a child, but the other girls try the reels and jigs, one with some grace and two clumsily. Nobody cares about skill. What matters is the sheer joy we feel as we stomp and whirl, singing our hearts out. After fifteen minutes, the music quiets to a waltz, and laughing, we hug and congratulate each other and part, panting. It's official. I'm a Wellesley graduate. My degree is propped up and sitting on the bar, soon to be framed and hung in a place of honour on our living room wall. Mam will make short work of the framing. She is so proud to have a college graduate in our family. I was chosen to speak at graduation because in Wellesley's first graduating class of seventeen women, I was the first hired in my chosen major. I'll teach general science at Girls High come fall. It's the first time in their curriculum that science is offered. After the two o'clock graduation ceremony, Mam and I walked straight here to O'Halloran's to celebrate. I've dressed carefully, wearing my new blue dress, draped in at the waist with cascades ruffling back to a small bustle. My hair is freshly washed and pulled up into curls with a matching blue ribbon. My face feels flushed with perspiration now, but I don't care. My heart soars with a joy of accomplishment and pride. Uncle Cam is here, of course, and comes quickly to my side. Nelly, your speech was wonderful he says as he guides me to the table where Mam waits. Your students will be lucky to have you. Thank you, Uncle Cam. I can't wait to start teaching. And you'll be a great teacher. I'm so proud of you. As I sit with him, basking in his affection, a male voice interrupts our sweet connection. 